What are the safest ways you can use your excavator for lifting? Continue watching to find out. So what are the safe methods of lifting using an excavator? Number one is a quick itch with a Lola tested lifting eye. So an excavator fitted with a quick itch that has a Lola certified lifting eye is a secure way of lifting. So by securing a D shackle to the lifting eye on your quick itch, you can use chains and straps to securely lift your load and move it in a safe manner. It's common for hitches to have a lifting eye that aren't Lola tested. So it's something that you need to be aware of. If you already have a quick itch on your machine and you want to use it for lifting, then you need to ensure that it is Lola tested. And just remember that a Lola test normally only lasts for six months. So you might have had a test on it, but you need to check that it's current. The Rhinox Also Lock Quick Itch is Lola tested for six months when it leaves us at point of dispatch. All Rhinox Quick Itches are Lola tested and the working load limit is on the data label on the side of the hitch. And this is applicable for six months from the date of dispatch. So if you're looking to buy a quick hitch and you're gonna to need to use it for lifting, it's definitely worth making sure that it is lowly tested or can be lowly tested and that it's current. Some safety points that is worth considering before you use your quick hitch to lift and move loads. So ensure that your load is secure and stable and is securely attached to your hitch and that it is safe to go ahead with lifting it and moving it. It's really important that you don't exceed the working lifting load on your hitch and machine. So it's well worth acquainting yourself with what the capacities are of the machine and the hitch. If you fail to do this, it could result in accidents and nobody wants that. One key point to bear in mind is that you need to have the hitch facing towards the ground so that you don't put any undue stress on the hitch or any of the links. And one final point, it's really important to make sure that you do routine checks on your machine, pins and bushes, and especially the quick itch, and please ensure that your load certificate is up to date. So the second method that you can use for lifting would be excavator pallet forks. Using pallet forks enables you to lift products and pallets and move them in the same manner as you would like a telehand or a site forklift. Excavator pallet forks are especially useful when you've got very tight sites. Obviously you've got the turning circle of the machine, so they are a very versatile piece of equipment that you can add to your excavator. The same as when you use a quick itch for lifting, pallet forks also have a working load limit. So it's really important that you acquaint yourself with the capacities of your attachment and your machine. And also it's really important to check for wear and tear and also make sure that again, that it is current with its loader certificate because that does apply to pallet forks. So for example, the Rhinox five to nine ton pallet forks have a safe lifting load of 1,250 kg and the 12 to 25 ton pallet forks have a safe working load of 2,500 kg. So some key safety points that you need to bear in mind when using pallet fork attachments on your excavator is to ensure that the attachment is fitted correctly and is in a full working order, as failure to do so could result in accidents. And again, nobody wants to see accidents on site. Another really key point is that you don't exceed your working lifting loads. And again, I just can't emphasize it enough, you really need to make sure that you are fully aware of what your lifting capacities are for the machine and the attachment. And as always, make sure that you carry out routine checks of your attachments and your machine, obviously. And anything that doesn't look right needs to be checked and maybe flag to the guy that does your repairs, but also make sure that you've got an up-to-date load certificate for that lifting equipment. I suppose one of the most obvious things is make sure that your load is secure and stable and that it's even. And if you're not sure, just get out and check or get somebody to check for you, because it's really important that your working load that you're lifting is safe. Whilst it's good to be able to use your excavator for lifting on site, it should remain your top priority that whatever you do is safe. I guess like anything, but particularly when using an excavator for lifting, safety is non-negotiable for yourself and everybody around you. So you want to know more about the Rhinox pallet forks and our Lola tested quick itch, watch here for more videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the great products that Rhinox have to show you. It has a Lola cer certified. You can use your excavator, excavator. <laughs>